We're back at Mount Fair Farms, Rosie and myself, uh, to have a look at our winter wheat trials this year. Uh, this year we've, we've had the opportunity to mix things up a little bit and uh, given the high level of interest that we see nowadays in early sowing winter wheats, we have split the trials into two and we have an early sown winter wheat trial and we will also have well, what we would class as a normal sowing date for winter wheat but some maybe now see as a later sown wheat trial. Um, yeah, Rosie, would you like to just explain a bit more about what we've done? Yeah, that? thanks, Laura. So, as Laura said, we're in the early drill trial. So, these 10 varieties were drilled on the 5th of September. Soil temperatures were about 11.8 degrees. Um, and in our main drilled um, plots, we have got 20 varieties, um, a few new ones, um, and these are drilled on the 29th of September at about 11.4 degrees soil temperature. Um, all the plots have had an autumn herbicide of DFF plus Bufenicet. Um, and in the spring, we're going to be comparing all the plots, the early drilled and the main drilled plots for disease levels, um, maturity and varietal resistance. Um, but currently we've been monitoring all the plots for establishment and growth habits uh, in the autumn. Yeah. So as Rosie says, we've got a real mixture of varieties um, in the early sown plots. What we've tried to do is to make sure we've got coverage of varieties that we're regularly asked for, for early sowing. Where Rosie and I are standing right now is quite a good example. So this plot here to my left, this is KWS X days, which is an incredibly popular high disease resistance variety. However, when we look at it from an early sowing point of view, as you'll maybe be able to see, it's, it's a very erect, very vigorous growth habit. Um, and that does yeah, provide a few challenges for it going through the winter. Um, on the right hand side, I have KWS barrel, which is probably the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, got to make sure I get this word right but yeah we have that nice prostrate growth habit so it will just sit quite nicely through the winter well suited to early sowing from that point of view however we've seen the septoria resistance in particular really really drop down for this variety in recent years um, which yeah perhaps reduces its suitability for that drilling slot. Um, looking across at the main drilling window and yeah our main plots uh, we've got three new varieties to look at this year um, the new AHDB recommended list will come out later this month and yeah with any luck hopefully two of those varieties should appear on there um, so this, for the soft feed wheat growers we have got LG Redwold and KWS Zelum that we're having a look at this year um, they both look quite promising through the summer um, and yeah, we'll just have to see how they compare. I think the key thing for us is that that just brings a bit more genetic diversity into that group, uh, into that soft feed market. So that should be beneficial. And the other new one that we're looking at this year is RAGT Grouse, which I mean, I think this one is probably a bit more of a look see. Uh, it hopefully some of you will remember RAGT Wolverine, which was the BYDV resistant wheat from RAGT. Uh, grouse follows on in that breeding program and is basically the next step on. So yeah, just be interesting to see how that compares and see, see the progression in their program. So yeah, it would be really good to know, when did you sow your wheat this year? And um, for you, what would be an ideal timing drilling slot to get that wheat in um, in a normal year. I know no two years are the same but yeah it's really useful just to know what people are trying to do. If you've enjoyed the, the video please subscribe down below and if you want to watch some more videos please look at the ones to my left. Enjoy!